Hey, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. Lovely time of year coming around now, Christmas, and children are so excited. High interest in the books, high interest in the uh, event, and high interest in crafts. Works out really well for people working with children. The book I've chosen is called Ricky's Christmas Tree by Guido Van Genechten. This is a really sweetheart of a story. It's about Ricky and his parents who are extremely busy and stressed over Christmas and he just wants a Christmas tree. But more important than that, he wants to spend time with his dad. And the book is lovely, sweet, and, uh, and helps you to remember the things that are most important about Christmas, which is, of course, family and spending time together. You're going to enjoy this book. The children will, too. So, the craft idea I stole off of a cooking show on TV. They were doing this really beautiful uh, technique with sugar, which of course we can't do here, but I am all about stealing ideas. So anytime I see a good one, I steal it. Except of course we're libraries, so we call it borrowing, but all the same. Have a look here. Isn't that charming? Little picture, what it's like to look through the window at Christmas time and see someone's decoration hanging there. And I've just got a bit of, um, bit of paper that looks a bit like wallpaper, any kind of pattern paper, but you could just use plain paper as well, construction paper. And I've cut construction paper strips to be the window frame. And look at this lovely stuff. You've seen us use it before. Sparkly and sticky with the peel-off backs. You can cut any shape that you like. And I've made a little template of an old-fashioned looking uh, Christmas ornament so that it could be cut out and make into a beautiful thing. And then the branch of the tree, that's something any little kid can manage. Give them a red or a uh, green marker and they can color a Christmas tree on there and feel extremely pleased with the result. I think that this, you could also cut decorations out of magazines or something and glue them on. And there's probably a dozen different ways that you could make this craft work for you. And it could even be folded over and made into a rather charming Christmas card if you want to have your kids have a Christmas card to send to Grandma. Uh, Merry Christmas. You'll probably hear from us again before the end of the season because we have lots of festive ideas.